Hey. I don't think it would be the same part. July 25th, 2022. Yeah, I don't know how it's the same court. It's exactly right. I think we should call the courthouse and try to figure out. If you are adjourning a matter by way of telephone, please clearly state the following. The date of the hearing, the court file number, the time There's estimate, the and if it's being adjourned by consent or due to non-service. Please also include your name and the telephone number that you can be reached at. Thanks and have a great day. Um, we should maybe call freaking the Surrey courts, or I mean New Westminster courts rather, and try to figure it out. Yeah. And just be like, yo, we didn't get no email. Like, we think court might be today, but we're trying to figure it out. And they might at least be able to direct us to the right yeah. person to talk to. You know what I mean? No, I don't know. Because the they didn't email you last time either. No, if they but didn't they email you that paper. But they, but they did give you the paper. Yes. But, but they give you this paper, but this paper doesn't give you an actual date. It just says it could be well, any I'm time. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I mistook it for today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, obviously, you, anybody would. If you're would. requesting a call back, said the registry yeah. cannot make calls outside Highlighted. Canada. Shh. For hours and address, press 1. For e-filing information, press 2. For the main menu, press 9. For criminal, adult, and youth, Press 1. For traffic, press 2. For chambers applications, supreme programs including divorce and court records, press 3. For provincial divorce family, no. press 4. For small claims, press 5. For accounting and interpreters, press 6. For sheriffs including jury management, press 7. For transcripts and in-court technology, so old. press 8. For exhibits, press 9. Where's the... I didn't give us any option that I wanted Zero to is not valid. For mean? criminal, adult, and youth, press 1. For traffic, press 2. <coughs> For chambers applications, supreme programs, including divorce and court records, press 3. For provincial family, press 4. For small claims, press 5. For accounting and interpreters, press 6. For sheriffs, including jury management, press 7. For transcripts and in-court technology, press 8. For exhibits, press 9. Why is I pressing 3? For chambers applications, press 1. For supreme civil, probate, and adoption, press 2. For supreme divorce and family, press 3. For court records, file and search, press 4. To return to the main menu, press 9. If you would like to speak to a member of our Chambers team, please stay on the line. If you are adjourning a Chambers application by telephone, the following information is required. Date of hearing, court file number, if it is by consent or due to non-service, your name and telephone number that you can be reached at. Please note that the application record or binder must be submitted two to three business days before the hearing date. For any application over two yeah, hours yeah. or with a start time that's not 9.45 a.m., please contact Supreme Court Scheduling at 604-660-8551. To obtain Supreme Court forms and that's fees, that please visit the Supreme to to. Court website at supremecourtbc.ca. Okay. Okay. Good morning, New Westminster. Oh, hi. Um, we have a um, court appearance to do, but but it's we haven't been sent any emails with regards to if it's this morning or not. And the only oh, thing that we were hand delivered sh shows that it's like the size the week of the twenty fifth. So we're trying to find out exactly oh. what date it's supposed to be. Oh, uh, uh, that I think you have to call scheduling it. Actually, okay. so can I ask, is that the, where's the location of the hearing? Is that in Chilliwack and Abbotsford? Uh, no, it's in New Westminster. 
the location of the no, hearing. Sorry, Port Coquitlam. Port Coquitlam. Right. Okay. Then yes. So you have to call scheduling so he'll okay. be able to tell you. So do you have a pen and paper with you? Yeah. Is that the six six zero eight five five one number? Yeah. That's right. Okay, yes. Perfect. I'll call them. Okay. Right Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yeah. I figured scheduling. All right. Let's try scheduling. You have reached New Westminster Supreme Court scheduling. Please note our options have changed. To hear our contact information, please press 1. If you have an inquiry for the registry, including general chambers, civil, criminal, sheriff, and virtual courts, please press 2. Before contacting Supreme Court Scheduling, please review our website for notices to the public and profession regarding the current operations of the court. To speak to an agent, please press 3. Please hold while your call is being transferred as it may take a few seconds. Thank you for calling. All personnel are busy at the moment. Please stay on the line and you will be served faster than by dialing again. This is a recording. Yeah, at least if we can get them to tell us when it is. If it's not today, like, give sorry. us a date. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, if it's not today, it's all good. I don't mind. I wasn't doing nothing else. <laughs> it's fun for the kids anyways. <laughs> yeah. I'm We're having a play date. <laughs> <laughs> oh hi I'm calling because we have a court appearance and it was set for the week of the 25th but we weren't given sent any emails to know specifically what date it is what's the file number the file number is uh, 226898. Um, it looks like it's been pushed to tomorrow, although I'm not sure that it's getting on tomorrow. Um, but yeah, someone should be in touch with you hopefully today and let you know what's happening. Okay, so somebody will be in touch with us today because it's the thing. The, 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 the thing is, is it's it's my auntie who's scheduled for court and she has really bad eyesight, so I have to like taxi down every time, like every day, so I could help her read and everything while I'm here. So that's why it's kind of like we're trying to figure out what day it would be if it's not today. Yeah, I mean we we are too. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just not, we're it's just sort of the way that the lay of the land for a day size list. Um, you know, day by day they go through. But um, yeah, so I'm ex I would expect that um, the person who deals with this okay how are they going to contact us because we have it like even the last court date where it was actually scheduled and we knew it was that date we never received the email so we had to just call in with the information we already had so, yeah, uh, like so don't, like oh how um how you how will be you find out what date well it looks like we don't have an email address is this for is this, are you for judy chorney yes yeah, so we were never provided an email address for that person. Okay, let me definitely give you an email address so that... Okay, that'd be great. Okay. What was it? Here, you spell it for me and I'll spell it out to her. Hang on just a second. Yeah. Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's on my form. I gave it to them when I filed everything. It's so. okay. Now they're going to have it now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's N like November. Yeah. U like uniform. N like November. A like alpha. T like tango. I like India. O like Oscar. N like November. S like Sierra, U like uniform, N like November, I like India, T like tango, Y like Yankee, at gmail.com. So, so it's NU okay, Nations so we've got Unity. That in there now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so our preferred method of communication is by email. So okay. it's easier to sort of include everybody. So, sure. um, 
yeah, I don't know, um, I don't know when, but hopefully there'll be an email at some point. Is, to like, I think you know, it's the, not going to be, is it going to be the date of? Like, like, will they send us an email the day of, or will they at least let us know? No, it should be the day before. Okay. Um, but, yeah, because we wouldn't, um, and, yeah, I don't think if, like, if, if we had told you, you know, we, we can't get you on for sure, they might just email and say, like, we for sure can't get you on tomorrow, we might be able to get you on Wednesday, and then, you know. And then go from Wednesday tomorrow, kind of thing. Okay. You know, we can't get you on Wednesday, maybe Thursday, something like that. But that, that um, at least let us know the day before, so that we yeah, have good yeah, notice. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, All right, perfect. Sure. So you have the correct yeah. email there now, nunationsunity at gmail.com. Yeah, so, all oh, right, perfect. Thank you. I appreciate okay. that. Okay. All right, have a great day. Okay, you too. Bye. Bye. So how are we supposed to deal with this? So it's not going to be today. So they'll email you either today to let you know it's tomorrow or tomorrow to let you know it's Wednesday. Or maybe they might not. That's what she said. Well, it seems like the reason why you never got any emails is because they didn't have your email but for some stupid... But they have I mean, yeah, but she didn't have it in her system. Whoever got your application... Because it's like they have to type it into the system and whoever got your application obviously didn't put that part in for some stupid reason which is shitty for you because it's been penalizing you all this time you've been sitting here not getting any emails without knowing because you assume they have all the well, information the you provided told me to do when i filled out you know the like you assume, make sure that you have your email like that, see, that seems to me a clerical er like a clerical error whoever was data entering that didn't put that in but um anyways so they have the email now so they'll email you today or tomorrow to let us know when oh my God. but it will be the day before to let us know no she said maybe well no it should at least be the day before they won't let us know the day out they won't be like it's today at, at 10 you know they'll they'll tell you it's maybe tomorrow <laughs> and then they'll email you maybe again tomorrow <laughs> yeah it's shitty <laughs> And then call right, okay, Rhea, it's maybe tomorrow, I'll call you in the morning. Like, <laughs> right? That's yeah. basically what it is. That's basically what it is. You should be happy. She has the baby and she has to be up early. But she says Thursday, she can't do it. Thursday's the only day I can't. Well, of course, that will be the day when they do it. Of course. Mm. Thursday, I have. Well, uh, don't po don't upload this. <laughs> until no, I'm uploading it <laughs> until after they already until after know the court. Until <laughs> after the court. I'm uploading it because this is this is until after the court. Okay, I brought some drinks. Y'all want a drink? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of drinks at ten o'clock in the morning. But <laughs> 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 okay, so I'm gonna finish this video. So this is what my son is doing. Just throwing out everything, really, basically, you can see, right? He used it for 12 years, and now he's got a Jezebel, and he doesn't want it. Because he's taking over, right? You see? Look at this. Look at this, people. Right? Thing is... I got sprung with the court and I had to meet my expectations for June 9th. So I got distracted from clearing out the basement. Right? Because you have to remember, I did all that paperwork basically on my own. Now, don't get me wrong, Tisha came with me to Staples and helped me to photocopy and stuff and even paid one little batch of it. But other than that, people, I do all the paperwork. Can't even see that much anymore. But besides that point, throwing out my books, right? He's just piling up more and more shit. Okay? See? Look at this. He, 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 I don't even know where he, he's taking shit where he's not even supposed to be taking it from. Okay? He's just going out of his way to be vindictive and spiteful. Okay? Like, I don't even know where he's pulling this out from. He's just pulling it out just to be fucking spiteful. Okay? These aren't going to stay outside for very long before they start getting moisture. Okay? I'm just saying. He's got a really bad attitude. Obviously, his girlfriend is fueling it along, getting off on it. Right? 
can't tell me she's not. This pile, I don't know, he's hiding shit in here. He's just burying more shit in here as he's throwing out shit. Just to give you an example, I've been asking Tisha for over a year to come and help me to put some of this stuff away versus where I had it. But of course she's busy because, you know, she has the kids, right? And there's only so much she can do. Look at this. That's what I mean. Look, look. See, I went out of my way to label it. He just took the fucking box and threw it in there. Hold on a minute. Do you see? He, he's literally just trashing shit. Literally fucking trashing shit. As if he has a right to trash it. When he started having his little fucking hissy fit, because I didn't... I didn't get a chance to get down there and clear it out because I had the court stuff, right? And then they booked it for July and I had to get all those PDF files into paper form and submit it. That took time, number and everything. And then Amari had the seizure, right? On top of everything else that I do in a fucking day. You told me you were gonna have the basement cleared out by July, June. I said, yeah, but, you know, I got the court shit that came about. I couldn't do it. You know, Tisha, sure, she comes and mows the grass once in a blue moon. You know, she'll take Amari to the appointment. She took me to the Staples to photocopy, but other than that, took me grocery shopping. But other than that, that's it, people. Right? In terms of help, quote, unquote. You know, I said, you know, but if it really bothers you and you can't wait, you can move. I told him that, people. I told him, you can, like, if it's disturbing you that much and you don't understand, I've got all these other things coming in that I have to deal with, you can leave, and I'll just deal with it. But no, he won't leave because it's cheaper rent, right? Because he dictates to me how much he's going to give me versus how much I tell him I want, which, which he's going to give me is not what I want. As he's going out of his way to literally fucking trash my life, and he's being abusive about it. And this girl doesn't want to talk about it. And storms off and walks off like she's a fucking victim when I call her on it. Go to your parents' house, being that that's where you moved out of. Instead of moving out of your parents' house, putting pressure to move in with my son. My son's saying, well, my mom, you know, she's kind of in a rough spot right now. Maybe we should live here. But we got to clear out the basement. But versus just going with the flow and maybe being helpful, not so abrasively, but more graciously, she's encouraging abrasive behavior. Ranky, raunchy, aggressive behavior. So that she can think that she's in control. Because he's doing all this for her. Right? If it wasn't for her, it wouldn't be going to this extreme. Right? Because, you know, they get a fresh start at mom's expense with cheap rent after they trash mom's shit. But I said to her, like, well, why don't, why don't you just stay at home, have my son come over, and you take a half of your parents' house and do what you're doing here? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> and she storms off, people. She stormed off. I'm already having bad dreams because of her that are directly related to her. And she hasn't even fucking paid rent yet. As my son... ...is throwing things into the element. This is supposed to be the garbage pile. Whatever else he's putting in here, people, I don't know. Because he's now burying it and he's hiding it. Okay? You see? I packed it up nicely. I asked Tisha to come and help me to put it away. That never happened. I'm thinking of my grandkids. I have lots and lots of puppets. I bagged everything up. And he's just trashing it. 
He's throwing it and burying it deeper and deeper into the garbage pile. I can never live with him after I leave this house. Ever. Ever. See? The, the thing is, he works. He's a tree cutter. He makes lots of fucking money. He pays cheap rent. His girlfriend works in a pharmacy. She making good money. Hardly paying any rent. Something like $300. Like, who does that? Who moves into somebody's fucking house, pays $300 to do this fucking shit, and then say, I don't want to talk about it, and storms off like she's the fucking victim here? Okay? I'm sorry, son. I can't afford to go off and buy another fucking chair. Okay? But obviously it doesn't matter to you because you're rolling in the fucking dough. Right? Well, why wouldn't you be? You pay hardly any fucking rent. Well, you're storming around, acting like a fucking asshole. Trying to be a king and a knight to your ranky girlfriend. Literally. He couldn't wait. I told him. I have court this week. I didn't ask him where he to have a seizure. Okay? That took up some time. Right? This week is going to take up some time because you heard what happened. Right? I'm on fucking hold for a whole week as they send me something, I guess through email, and say, be, on, be, be in court in one hour from now. Just hold, put, put your life on fucking hold for a whole fucking week so you can get jerked around through the court system. Right? Because chances are they're going to use their case law or whatever. They're false illusion, they're false accu accusations, and they're going to try and throw it out, and they will, just because they can, right? Because they can take advantage of vulnerable families, old people, children, people with disabilities, people on low income. They run their energy weapons through their house, through houses like this, Okay, don't forget, we had that energy weapon, right? When Julian was raging over Shimei, accusing her of drugging him, I have it on camera, people, with the energy weapon going over his fucking shoulder. Okay? How do I know that energy weapons, at some point, at some point, isn't instigating this behavior? Well, his fucking girlfriend is acting like a fucking Julian. I don't want to talk about it. Well, I wonder why you don't want to talk about it. So what, do I just leave this out here? Right? Let it fucking get rained on. Wind blow it on. Right? Moisture accumulates so everything starts to mold. I I is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh no, he'll just come in and load up his truck and chuck it all out, people. And then apologize. And then something else will trigger him. And he'll start with his garbage shit all over again. This is what I mean. I, my life is being fucking trashed here. One way or another. we got paramedics fucking scoping out my house. Accusing me of this. I don't even know what I was accused of, people. Right? Just to show me who's boss. Because they know I'm going to talk about them. And what they do in the community when it comes to body fucking snatching. Okay, and how they're facilitating illegal organ harvesting in the province of British Columbia, Canada. And they will hurt my family as they do it. Okay? To try and shut me up. Running their fucking energy weapons. Sending in their implants. Like Julian. Julian was a fucking implant. They, Tamika and Julian targeted Shimei. Shimei was stalked by Julian's sister before Shimei even really knew anything about Julian's sister. That's why Julian's sister was putting the bobby pins, the hand cream, and the tampons in Freddie's bedroom when Shimei was still with Freddie. So that when Shimei came by and found him in Freddie's bedroom, Shimei would get mad at Freddie just so that Tamika could 
come in in the background, smile up in Freddy's face, and because the, he was fighting with Shimei, she said, well, that's okay, baby. That'll just come suck on, suck on me for a while. I'll take away your pain. You don't have to think about Shimei. You can come fuck me. And that's what Freddy did. And Shimei found out about it. I don't know how the hell she hooked up with Julian, but she did. Probably because Julian had her scoped out. Okay? Trying to get back at fucking Freddy. Who knows? All I know is it was a setup. Just like with what's going on right now with this girl is a fucking setup. Okay? Who does this? Who goes into somebody else's house after you leave your own supposedly well-rounded parents... In other words, her parents have been married for a long time and they're supposed to have the perfect fucking relationship. They're happy-go-lucky parents that have been together since all their kids have been born. But they can't be that fucking rounded when they l release their daughter out into the community to move into other people's houses and do this shit and then walk away and say, I don't want to talk about it. Okay? It's not like I haven't been asking for fucking help for over a year in terms of putting stuff online. But Tisha has her own life, and it's enough that she helps me with the things that she does help me with. And of course, my son would never fucking help me. And then when he does help me, this is his help. Destroy everything. Put it in the elements for the homeless people to come by or anybody to fucking come by and poke fucking Tamika to come by and start poking at it in the middle of the fucking night when the raccoons aren't climbing all over it or the cats are spraying on it or the fucking crud from up there is falling on it or wait till the weather changes people. Wait till the fucking weather changes people. Bullshit. You gonna start a life? With your girlfriend as you trashed your mother's life. Basically. Right? You're 32, 31, however old you are. You've had a good all these fucking years in terms of cheap rent. You basically lived in this basement by yourself since shimei has been dead. Because Tisha hasn't really been around. Nobody's fucking bothered you. If the shit bothered you that much, for all the energy that you're spending on this, you could have spent helping me to put it away or put it online or whatever versus letting it build up, build up, build up so that you can trash it all and then try and hide your shit through the pile of garbage as you continue to trash shit. Okay, I don't even know where he got this box from, people. But you see, it's not garbage. They don't have no respect for nothing. Okay? That's what happens when your family becomes a targeted family. And you get gaslight, medical kidnappings, illegal apprehensions. Right? Turn people into junkies. Leave them out on the streets. So that they terrorize the family. You know. Murder. Like Shimei. Then the stalking. Like Tamika. Right? Just the whole nine yards. The whole nine yards, people. This is the end of it. This is the result. Okay? As if I got energy for this. All he did was make it harder on me. That's it. He just made it fucking harder on me. This is why I can't live with my son when I leave this house, people. I told Tisha today, there's only three things left for me. I'm either going to fucking die because of the stress, okay? Or I'm going to go completely blind and they think they're going to put me away like a dirty fucking secret so that I can be further abused by the government with their inoculations and all this other crap whatever they do with these old people in these old folks homes until they fucking turn off the IV right or I'm gonna end up homeless and it turns out you can't even really go to sums because the person who works at sums 
was telling me exactly what's going on. And that the whole situation at hand is that nobody cares about these homeless people. And they're all working towards killing and destroying them off to the point where this girl doesn't even want to fucking work there anymore. Because of the people being so mistreated. Okay? And that's at a homeless shelter. Alright? But I'm not living with my son after this. No fucking way. I don't like my son. I definitely don't like his girlfriend. Right? Right? You come from your quality two-parent home. But obviously your parents didn't teach you very well for you to go off and do something like this. And think it's fucking funny. And that you can just walk away. And let Mark Hain treat me more like trash. Because you don't want to look at what you're about. In terms of this girl. Even allowing this to happen. Oh, slow down Mark Hain. You don't have to throw everything out. That's okay. Give your, give your mom some time. To get used to the idea. Let me, you know, let, me, let me talk to your mom. Let me have you know, establish a rapport. So it's not so fucking hard. No. No. That's the complete opposite people. She's getting... Excited over this shit in terms of she feels like she's in power. Oh, I'm not talking about this. Let's go. That's what she said. I'm not talking about this. Let's go. And she started walking and he followed her fucking lead. And this is the result of it. Okay? Don't tell me that's not a fucking setup. Don't tell me this girl wasn't fucking sent in to do something like this. Just like Julian was sent in to eventually murder my daughter. Okay? Right? With that cop standing there going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, get rid of Judy because it's now time to take out the body with that perfusion machine in a hammock. And what did Julian do? As soon as the cop went, mm-hmm, that was it. It was like a light on. Oh, oh, she may, she may, she may, oh, oh, oh. And that cop turned around and said, Judy, take Julian down to Shimei's room and you take care of it. The only reason he did that, people, is because he didn't want me to see those paramedics put their freaking catheters and that other, there's three tubes that they hook into their body to hook up their perfusion machine so they can run the fucking perfusion machine to start flushing out the fucking organs before they go for surgery. And that's why they put him in hammocks, so that you don't see the perfusion machine. That's why the cop told me to take Julian down the fucking hall, because I was standing there looking at them with Shimei on the vinyl floor. They moved her fl body from a carpeted floor to a vinyl floor. Only one reason for that, people. Because when they put in their fucking catheter and their other tube, they needed to clean up the fucking blood or whatever it was that was leaking out after they punctured her body. And that's why they put it on a vinyl floor so they could clean up their mess. If it would have been on the carpet, it would have been stained. I was here, people. I seen it. And then when I left Julian in the bedroom after he pushed away the paper bag because he said he didn't need it, even though he was pretending to be hyperventilating, I came to the corner and that's when I seen them carrying her body out in that fucking hammock. Six men, three on each side. Mm-hmm. And supposedly, she was supposed to be alive. If that was the case, why was she not on a gurney? Because she wasn't. And if she was, they killed her. Because they wanted the organs. As they run their energy weapons. Go away from me. Okay, I'll be up there in a second. As they run their energy weapons through these rentals. Rentals, people. They run them through the yards. They run them through the house. They make people go fucking crazy. They bring, they make them enraged. They make them where they don't want to fucking help with shit. I've been in this house for 12 fucking years and this is how my son treats me. For a girl. A girl that probably, well not probably, that doesn't have really no morals. And if this is what she's done so far, and she hasn't even paid rent yet, people. And when she does, I think it's like 250 bucks. Like who does that? Who comes into somebody else's fucking house, throws out a life, throws out a fucking life.
with a bad attitude, tries to turn your son against you, and then only pays 250 bucks. You think it's going to stop for me with this bitch? No. She's just gearing up. Because she's a fucking setup. Okay? She don't love my son. She don't love my son. She loves controlling my son. Obviously, she's in control. When she's, I don't want to talk about it, let's go. My son, yeah, you're right, let's go. There you go, who's in control? Okay? This is the result of a two-parent family that fucking thinks that they raised a quality daughter. How about that? Right? A quality fucking daughter. Right? Look at this. Throwing out all my shit. All of it. And all of it. So anyway, I have to wait for court. I got court at the drop of a pin. At the drop of a pin. Right? And of course, Tisha is siding with her brother. Right? But I told Marcane, before you do this, why don't you just move? If you can't wait, because I had court, and then Amari, and I still got court. If you can't wait for me to do whatever, because Tisha wasn't coming by to help me to do it, because I'm tired, people. I've been asking her for ever to just come by and help me organize and put things away. But, you know, we, we had the hospital and she takes them to appointments. If she comes, she maybe cut the grass. She took me grocery shopping. So that's it. There's no time left because she's got her own family. So I have to wait. And this is the result of waiting. Right? He used this shit for 12 fucking years. But he doesn't need it now because he's got a girlfriend. And they're going to get their own stuff together because they can afford it with cheap rent. Mm -hmm. Now, and I'm supposed to forgive him for this? Fuck no. I'm not fucking forgiving him. No. He brought a fucking viper into my house. Another fucking Julian Johnson, as far as I'm concerned. 